So we have a project in Boston, and you know we, we did a hydrothermal simulation for a roof assembly, and we always are nervous when somebody doesn't want to use a lot of insulation over their cellulose insulation. Okay, stop. What I need to clarify is when they don't want to use a lot of rigid insulation over a cavity that has cellulose or fiberglass, fluffy stuff. So back to the video. So we, we did the simulations. We sent the, you know, the model in for certification and they came back and they said, well, your building's gonna fail, your hydrothermal analysis. Oh, oh, oh. And I said, no, 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 this, this assembly, we've checked back and forth, we know it works. No, 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 no. And, and so we went back and forth and back and forth and then we realized, oh, when we do it, when we're consulting, we don't wanna just like put in the standard ANSI 160P, which is the protocol for hydrothermal analysis. I don't wanna just use those assumptions. That's the, that's the certification assumptions. We also want to then push it. So we had in that model, in, in one of our models, we simulated high use, high, you know, like large family, cooking all the time, nobody ever leaves the house, that kind of thing. We want a very high moisture load to see just how bad it could get. And we sent the wrong model. Turns out we sent the wrong model. When we sent them the ANSI 160P model, they said, oh, yeah, it works fine. They said, yeah, right, it does work fine. But if you really load it up, it could have potential problems. But that almost any building. But we always do that. We always run the kind of worst case scenarios.